My fiancé, who is 25 and I at 24, had agreed to go on separate trips for our bachelor and bachelorette parties with friends. We were both excited about these celebrations, but things took a turn when my fiancé unexpectedly discovered that we were heading to the same destination. Before the trips, we had a long history together. We met in kindergarten, went through the same schools, and even became high school sweethearts. After high school, we maintained a long-distance relationship throughout college, and I had never been with anyone else. We had a deep bond and got engaged a year ago, planning our wedding for the near future. Recently, my friends, who were planning my bachelorette party, accidentally included me in a group chat where they suggested going to a strip club the night before the wedding. I expressed my discomfort with that idea and preferred to spend the day before at home. After discussing it with my fiancé, who agreed, we settled on a girl's trip to New Orleans instead. The idea was inspired by the movie Girl's Trip, and we were looking forward to catching up and having fun together as our busy lives had made it difficult to connect. As fate would have it, when my fiancé's best man learned about our trip, he planned a similar trip for him and his friends. Our girl's trip began four days before the guy's trip. My fiancé dropped me off at the airport, and we started our adventures separately. Initially, my trip was calm, filled with sightseeing and controlled nights out. However, as the days went on, things became more chaotic, and my friends and I decided to let loose a little. We were curious and wanted to experiment, but I always kept my fiancé updated by calling him to share my experiences. When it was time for his trip, he also shared stories with me, and it felt like we were both enjoying our time apart while still being connected. However, one night, after a lot of drinking and playing games with new friends, I was dared to kiss a handsome guy we had just met. In the moment, I went for it and got carried away, leading to a passionate kiss with my legs wrapped around him. This is the moment my fiancé walked in on. He pulled me aside, furious, and accused me of having an affair. I tried to explain that it was just a dare, and that I had only just met the guy, but he became increasingly angry and called me names. I was so taken aback that I didn't know how to respond. He walked away, leaving me in shock. My friend suggested I give him space to cool down and talk later, so I followed that advice. The next day, I tried to reach out to him, but he had cut his trip short and left. I extended my stay, hoping to give him the time he needed. Eventually, he picked up my call on my third extended day and bluntly told me that the wedding was off and that I should never contact him again. I was devastated. I rushed home, eager to discuss what happened. But when I arrived at our apartment, I found the locks had been changed. Feeling confused and hurt, I couldn't understand why he was reacting this way over just a kiss. I called him at work to confront him about the locks, which led to a heated argument. He revealed that he had dropped off all my belongings at my parents' house and informed them that our wedding was off. He warned me never to contact him again. My mother suggested that he might be having cold feet and overreacting. His parents, who had always treated me like family, remained neutral, saying it was our decision to make. After some time, he eventually agreed to meet and talk. During this conversation, he expressed his feelings of betrayal. He told me that he couldn't start a marriage knowing I would humiliate him for fun or to please a crowd, and he no longer trusted me. I was heartbroken. When I tried to discuss the wedding costs and the plans we had made, he dismissed it and said I shouldn't worry about losing deposits. In a moment of panic, I lied and said I was pregnant, thinking it might change his mind. His cold response was that he wanted a DNA test before taking any responsibility because he didn't trust me anymore. I couldn't believe how he was treating me after all we had built together over two decades. In a fit of anger, I slapped him and left, feeling utterly crushed. I struggled to understand what I had done wrong. To me, it was just a kiss, but it seemed to have shattered our relationship. I wondered if I was missing something crucial and why he reacted so strongly to what I considered a harmless moment. In reflecting on the situation, I recognized that everyone has different boundaries and emotional thresholds. While I saw the kiss as an innocent dare, it clearly triggered something deeper within him, perhaps insecurities or trust issues that I hadn't fully understood. 
As much as I felt his reaction was an overreaction, I realized the importance of respecting his feelings and giving him the time he needed to process everything. The situation you're describing involves a complex emotional struggle after a revelation of infidelity. A man's fiancé admitted to cheating on him about two and a half years ago during a difficult period in their relationship. She confessed that she made out and engaged in some physical contact with a co-worker, but claimed they never had sex. This revelation left him feeling heartbroken and confused, especially because he believed their five-year relationship had been nearly perfect. In the aftermath of her confession, she expressed deep remorse and stated her willingness to cut off all communication with the other man. However, she had continued to text him over the years, which understandably adds to the man's uncertainty. He's torn between forgiving her and moving forward, or questioning whether this situation is a significant red flag. Her willingness to see a therapist and cut ties with the other man gives him some hope. But his gut tells him that there might be more to the story than she's sharing. He's grappling with the enormity of the betrayal, as she had been hiding this for years. He's unsure how to proceed, including whether to go to therapy together or individually, and whether he should take more time before seeking professional help. Some friends and online commenters have suggested that the emotional and physical betrayal, as well as the dishonesty, are major reasons for him to reconsider the engagement. They point out that it's not just a kiss but the breach of trust and prolonged secrecy that are the most damaging aspects. Some even argue that this deception may have been worse than she let on and advise him to delay or cancel the wedding to process his feelings. Many also emphasize that it's not his responsibility to fix the relationship as he wasn't the one who cheated. Instead, it should be up to her to demonstrate that she can rebuild the trust that's been broken. While she's expressed remorse, her continued communication with the other man for over two years complicates the situation and raises doubts about her commitment to making amends. In the end, the main issue for the man is deciding whether he can ever trust her again and whether it's possible to build a marriage on a foundation that's been shaken by lies and emotional betrayal. Some advise cutting ties completely, while others recommend seeking therapy and taking the time to sort through his feelings before making any decisions about the future of their relationship.